the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my in the meat for a little bit of something that you want to be for. Your boat's going down, but you can't see. So, you know what I'm talking about. Sergio asked me what we were gonna do today, and I said, uh, maximum effort bicep curls. <laughs> Laughing at your joke here. We're doing just in back. <laughs> Currently working on my personal training course right now. And guys, it is a lot of work, but with goals, if you guys are working towards a goal right now, you might have days where you feel like quitting, but you just gotta look back and remember the reason why you started in the first place. For this personal training course, I don't have to be doing it, I choose to do it. And same thing with this vlog. I don't have to be doing it, I choose to do it. And the reason why I do these things is that I want to inspire and help other people reach their goals. And hopefully by helping other people reach their goals, they, were, they will inspire other people. It's going to build a community of people just lifting each other up and helping each other achieve their goals. Whenever I tell people that I'm in the process of becoming a certified trainer, I always get a very, very similar response. They always tell me, personal trainers make so much money, good for you, Billy, that's great. But guys, it's very nice getting those comments, but I'm not in this for the money. When I first start out, I'm not going to be making a ton of money. The reason I'm doing this is I want to help other people reach their goals. Personally, I get great satisfaction out of helping others, and hopefully you do too. But that is the main reason why I am doing this. People always tell me, like, personal trainers make like a dollar a minute or something like that. But guys, money isn't happiness. If you go on the streets and you see a homeless person, some of them are the happiest people in the world. They share everything, they care so much about other people, yet they have nothing to give. True happiness has to come from within. You can't rely on materials to give you happiness. If you rely on others to give you happiness, they can easily take it away. Hopefully you guys got something out of that. And I'm still new to vlogging, so I'm still in the process of expressing my ideas clearly. Because I understand it in my head, but speaking it is a lot harder. But hopefully by vlogging, this will help me communicate my ideas better. On some of these shots where I just talk to you guys, I do like six or seven takes before I choose one that I really like. Headed in to get Mongolian beef right now, and funny story is uh, last time we came here with a bunch of people, and then I got one plate, and I didn't know that it was all you can eat. So I was still starving, but we didn't know it was all you can eat. And the owner was also really cool and he gave us a coupon for a, a free drink but I only get water so that didn't really benefit me that much. So we're actually not going to get Mongolian beef because they're too packed and we didn't feel like waiting there so we're going to go find something else to eat. Such a bull. Man, I'm so mad. <laughs> I'm so mad. I'm so mad. <laughs> Sergio's really mad as am I. Alright dude where are we at? Huh? Where are we at? We're at Los Pericos, yep. located in Campbell. Uh huh. Got what you got there? Got some uh, some tacos, one chicken, one carne asada, with yeah. a little side of rice and beans. Could literally make another taco with all the extra meat that fell out of my tacos. So good. All this extra meat. He's practicing his bowling in Los Pericos. The form can never be too good. Never the camp. <laughs> Alright, so it's Tuesday right now, and every Tuesdays we go to Two Dollar Tuesdays for bowling, and usually we go to AMF, but the line was too crazy. So now we are here at Homestead Bowl, and the line here is crazy, but we don't want to go back to AMF because the line was crazy. So this is the first week that we haven't gone. We've been going there for like three months. So. Maybe maybe the people at home said, I mean, maybe the people at AMF saw the montage I made in vlog number two, three, that bowling montage I made, maybe that made them want to go there. So now we're at Homestead. Oh, bowling's not even fun. I have three. I have three. I'm just kidding. We go like every week. For everyone else, bowling isn't fun. Come on, guys. There's a line to return shoes. No. 
Now it's Marcus, Marcus. Currently at Denny's right now. We just got home from Homestead Bowl, and we're going to stick with AMF. What do you guys think? What do you think? Get out of my face. <laughs> what do you think? sucked. <laughs> we're going to stick to AMF. Home turf. <laughs> home field advantage. I hate that plate. <laughs> Sergio thought his... <laughs> Sergio thought your femur was on your arm. <laughs> oh, you can eat pancakes. Probably gonna get another stack of these. Uh, yeah. Look at slow motion it. Got some carbs in for those gains. Yeah. Well, just wrecked round one. Round two's coming. Round two. I'm not ready for round three. That's good enough for me. Sam couldn't finish round two. <laughs> couldn't finish round two. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, dude. Fuck this. Just do it. Excuse me, I'd like to fix my actual order now. I'm still hungry, guys. It's about 8 o'clock at night, and I got a package that came in today. Uh, I already opened it, but I really wanted to show you guys what I got because it is going to increase the quality of my videos. In the box, we got a pop filter. What I ordered is I got a Yeti mic. So. I'm basically going to use these for any commentaries that I do, any workouts, or anything that I commentate or voice over. I'm going to use this microphone. I've heard very good things about this, and I wanted to pick one up for myself. I'm going to open this for you guys and show you what it looks like. So opening up the box, we got this USB cable that comes with it, and then it's like a little manual Yeti mic. And then under here is the microphone. So that is what it looks like. I didn't know audio recording could be that fun. <laughs> What's really cool about this microphone is that it has so many modes to record in. So if you guys want to do voiceovers, podcasts, vocals, instrumentals, whatever, this mic can do it. What is up guys? I have set up the microphone with the pop filter and what the pop filter does is it softens all the P sounds. So any word starting with P or any P sounds is going to soften that sound. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Hopefully that sounded really good, and I'm going to voice this audio recording over with the video, so hopefully you guys can see what a good microphone does. Alright, for those of you guys that are watching this video, I want to know what your guys' New Year's resolutions are. I'm really excited to see what you guys have in store for 2016. Comment down below what your New Year's resolutions are. Some of mine off the top of my head are I want to become a certified personal trainer, which I'm currently working on right now. I want to gain 400 subscribers, which I'm at 283 right now, so if you guys could please click that subscribe button, it would help me out so much. And another goal that I have is I want to deadlift 405 pounds. My current PR right now is 315 pounds, but I have not tested it in a couple weeks. So I'm assuming I'm around maybe like 340 right now, but it's definitely a reachable goal for 2016. So let's start off 2016 right. I'm excited to see what you guys have in store.